Hi, in this video, I will be going to discuss about one of the sorting technique, which is known as bucket sort algorithm. Bucket sort algorithm uh, takes time complexity of linear, which is big of n plus k. K is the number of buckets. It works on range principle. A range means if, uh, for example, I'll take two examples. I have first example in, in which the numbers are from 1 to 10 to the power 8, the huge numbers, and which are uniformly distributed. And second example is 0 0.1 to 1, again a huge number, because these are fractionals. Okay, so in this two case, if the elements are the main condition is they should be in uniformly distributed format because otherwise if they are random the algorithm will take a lot of time and it it goes to the polynomial time complexity also so we have to take care about that like uh, first before applying we have to check the elements and then apply bucket sort because there are so many algorithms which are standard for example quick sort merge sort heap sort insertion sort selection sort and on all those sorting algorithms I already cover in my videos. You have to, if you want to watch them, watch it into my playlist. The You have to just click on the I button, which is top corner in video. So let's move on to the problem again. So there are three steps in sorting the this arrays by using bucket sort algorithm. So first is arrange in bucket second is sort the bucket third is again combine the bucket so why we called it a bucket and why the algorithm known as bucket sort because the algorithm takes elements into one of the chunks and that chunk for physical significance we called as a bucket and that is that chunk is about to consider the range for example in, in, in given array, which is 30, 40, 10, 80, 50, 12, and 70, in first bucket, I consider here 10, 5, 2, and I draw here four buckets. Why I did that? Because I consider four bucket. That means I consider four chunks of that array, which are divided into four different, different groups. Means one array, I'll divide it into the four different groups and that I'll call as a bucket and that bucket have a range for example in first bucket I can store range uh, number from 0 to 19 and why 0 to 19 because if I have the largest element as 80 as you see the largest element in my particular array is 80 and I have four buckets so just 80 divided by 4 means for each bucket I require 20 elements means range is 0 to 19 so in first bucket, I, I put there 10, 5, 2, which is inside that range. Then in second bucket, 30, 40, third bucket is empty, fourth bucket is 70, 80. So likewise, in this algorithm, we just divide the arrays into sub arrays and which we called as a bucket. And after that, we sort that bucket. So we have to uh, uh, just, like just uh, similar to the merge sort algorithm. In merge sort algorithm, what we did? We just divided the array, we compare the arrays itself and then again uh, with another array. If I have n elements in that merge sort algorithm, then n by 2 in one array, n by 2 in another array. So comparison, how many comparison in that array? n by 2 minus 1 comparisons required. So in similar manner, in similar fashion, in bucket sort al uh, algorithm also, we distributed our elements into chunks and that chunk we call bucket after divided that into bucket according to the range phenomena or range condition we just sort the bucket means in first bucket there are 10 5 2 element 10 5 2 number of elements we have to sort this element by using any standard al algorithm which is like sort so quick sort merge sort in any any algorithm after sorting each every bucket Again, we have to combine that bucket. That's it. So simple. Bucket sort algorithm. Then there is a question that uh, 
why we use bucket sort if we have counting sort because counting sort algorithm also works in similar fashion like it count the number as a indices and then arrange that particular number into that particular index where there there are lesser number in that uh, or lesser elements before that element so according to that it just uh, use the counting and range phenomena also so why we require here bucket sort algorithm why we innovate this algorithm because in bucket sort algorithm the range is very maximum and uh, although range is maximum we can solve this problem using linear time complexity that's the main point so let's try to code it this is one function only we have to take array as parameter number of elements and number of buckets these three parameters are required then we have to take max val means maximum value in between that because already i told you that we have to consider the largest element which is 80 in this case so it is maximum so we have to find that element because unless and until we find that element we couldn't get the range and we have we didn't solve by using without range in bucket sort so we have to first get to the range which is by using this max val variable we have to use for loop which is goes from one i less than n i plus plus the max val is equal to this is inbuilt function max function array of y max function is inbuilt it takes two parameter first parameter and second parameter compare the parameters and then gives the maximum value between the two parameters so maximum is mx max is inbuilt function so after that we have to increment this maxwell function then we have to take vector because we have to require the separate array to store the elements after or we have to uh, we want a separate separate arrays and the, which is impossible so we take a vector without vector we couldn't solve this problem so first we take the vector and we create a bucket from this vectors in uh, range perspective so how we will do it let's check out so in type equal to 0 i less than m i plus plus then in bi which is bucket index how we find out k into array of i k is number of buckets into number which is present in array divided by maximum value it gives us the index of bucket and according to that bucket we have to just store those elements which gives us that bucket index we have to store into the vector which is we declare before and so that's it in first for loop we find out the maximum then we declare the bucket uh, which is our vector because we want separate arrays in uh, one go that's why we require a vector and after that we just uh, find out the index of each bucket according to the number and put that number into the bucket uh, respectively so after finding the bucket means after filling the bucket we have to sort the bucket second third step first find the maximum value second fill the bucket third sort the bucket fourth combine the bucket so third third step is 
we just write down here code int i is equal to 0 i less than k i plus plus then we have to use inbuilt function we can use any uh, sorting algorithm but uh, compiler uh, does the very good job because uh, according to the size of array elements it just uh, decide which which algorithm uh, is feasible for the uh, number of elements so that's why I use here standard algorithm which is sort uh, function which takes parameter as first index and the last index of that particular vector That's it. So we sort the bucket, each bucket. And after that, we have to start from index because uh, before this, we just start, uh, we started with bu bucket index. Now, right now, we require the index for the array because we have to store all these buckets and combine them. So this is the last step. So int i is equal to 0 i less than k i plus plus then again for loop int j is equal to 0 j less than bucket of i dot size this is also inbuilt function size function i plus plus and then we have to store all the array elements from that bucket and which which are already combined in this in this sort in this for loop so bucket i j uh, you have a question like uh, why i'm using here two dimensional array because if you look into the buckets they they have created in such a way that each and every bucket look like an array so there are four array in one array that means there are two dimensional array format so that's why I use here two dimensional bucket format because in vector in vector can hold any dimensional arrays that's why i i did here by using vector so that's it code is ready so we have to write print function so as to print our array elements that's it so print function is ready Declare the array with seven element, which are 30, 40, 10, 80, 5, 12, and 70. These are elements. Then call the bucket sort function. Then print function that's it so just check it If we get error,
question okay this is syntax error just check it again so that's it we get sorted array as you see 5 10 12 30 40 80 70 so our array is successfully sorted thank you stay blessed like share subscribe if you like my